Do you ever catch yourself struggling to remember the little things like where you put the keys or the name of that person you just met? Turns out we're barely scratching the surface. We're typically using just 10% of our brain, the conscious part, to remember stuff. There's a whole other 90% waiting in the wings. And that's where the magic really happens, in your subconscious brain. In this video, we'll be unlocking the secret realm of your subconscious and I will tell you about five powerful techniques that you can use to not just improve your memory short term but also enable long term retention. We will not just be talking memory tricks, we're talking about tapping into the vast reserves of your subconscious mind to massively improve the way you remember things. So, if you're ready to go beyond just that 10% and take your memory game to another level, stick around. Hey there, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Nidhi. I'm a corporate leader turned hypnotherapist and life coach. In my channel, I talk about everything related to personal and professional growth using both your conscious and subconscious mind to help you get to your next level. The subconscious mind plays a significant role in memory retention, while the conscious mind is responsible for short-term memory and immediate recall. The subconscious mind is involved in the storage and retrieval of long-term memory. So understanding how to use your subconscious to improve your memory can be a game changer. Imagine meeting Emma, a rising star in the business world. Emma was great with ideas and strategies, but struggled with remembering the numerous names, figures and details that flooded her daily meetings and presentations. Determined to up her game, she decided to tap into the power of subconscious mind using these five techniques. The first one, visualization. Remember, your subconscious mind is visual and it absolutely loves pictures. So here's the deal. When you create a mental movie, a vivid picture in your head, your subconscious is all over it. It's like you're giving it backstage pass to the information you want to remember. Think of it as your brain's own Netflix show, but way more educational. What's cool is that your brain can't really tell the difference between what's real and what's in your head. So when you visualize something, your subconscious treats it like it's actually happened. And that's the secret. So let's say you're trying to remember a complex idea or a person's name. Now close your eyes and imagine it like a scene from a movie. Picture the details, make it colorful and if you can add some emotional flair to it. Why does it work? Because your subconscious isn't a spectator, it's in the game, it feels the vibes and when you make it engaging and positive it's like telling your brain, hey this is important stuff, lock it in. So next time you're faced with a memory challenge, just skip the mental struggle and hit play on your mind's own movie reel. Your subconscious will thank you and you'll be amazed at how much easier it is to remember things. So picture this, Emma is in a crucial meeting, but she cannot remember the name of all her colleagues. So she starts associating each team member with a specific color and shape in her mind. So Dave becomes a reliable blue triangle, while Sarah is the dynamic red circle. Now this mental imagery transformed the team from faceless crowd into memorable and visually engaging lineup. Number two, affirmations. Affirmations are your best friends when it comes to improving your memory. This is what turns your brain into a confidence boosting machine. You know those moments when self-doubt creeps in. Affirmations are like your personal cheerleaders, cheering you on from the sidelines. Affirmations are positive statements that you repeat to yourself and they're like little power-ups for your subconscious. So instead of letting that inner critic take center stage, you're taking control and you're rewriting the script. So let's say you're gearing up for a big presentation and you dread that you may forget something crucial when you're presenting. Now, instead of letting your nerves take over, you repeat to yourself, I've got this, I'm confident and my ideas are worth hearing. It's like giving yourself a virtual high five. The trick is to keep it real and personal. None of that generic, oh, I'm a superhero stuff, unless that's genuinely your vibe. Make it specific to you and your goals. If you're tackling a new project, maybe it's I'm capable and I'm learning to grow with every challenge. Why does this work? Well, your subconscious is like a sponge soaking up everything, the good, the bad and the affirmations. So when you consistently feed it positive messages, it starts to believe in them. It's like telling your brain, hey, we have a super memory and we can handle whatever comes our way. So the next time you catch that self-doubt creep creeping in, hit pause and throw in an affirmation. 
Repeat it like it's your favorite song and watch how it changes the game. It's not about wishful thinking. It's about rewiring your brain to be your biggest fan. Give it a shot. You've got nothing to lose and a whole lot of confidence to gain. Coming back to our friend Emma. As she navigated through her busy work days, she adopted a simple daily ritual. During her morning coffee, she repeated affirmations like, my memory is a well-organized database, always ready for action. It, it might sound like a self-pep talk, but actually these positive affirmations, they subtly programmed her subconscious to believe in her memory's prowess. Number three, repetition with intent. Picture this, you're trying to learn something new, but your brain feels like a sieve. Information in, information out. Now, that's where repetition with intent comes in. And trust me, it's a total game changer. It's not about mindlessly repeating stuff like a robot. It's about being deliberate, like teaching your brain that this info isn't just passing through. It's here to stay. So imagine you're not just reading the same paragraph over and over and over again, but really focusing on understanding it. It's like giving your brain a friendly nudge saying, hey, pay attention, this is important. Think quality over quantity. So instead of cramming, space it out. Repeat the key details, but do it with purpose. Maybe you're learning a new skill or a language. Repeat, but as if you're teaching it to someone else. Engage with the material. Make it stick. Your subconscious notices what's getting your attention. And when you do it with intent, it's like highlighting the crucial passages in a book. Your brain takes notes. And suddenly that information isn't just passing through, it's moving in and it's setting up shop. So whether you're studying for an exam or you're picking up a new hobby, remember repetition with intent is a secret sauce. It's, it's not about the quantity of repetition, it's about the quality. Teach your brain that what you're learning is worth remembering and watch how it transforms your learning game. Now, our friend Emma was attending an important work meeting and taking notes, but whilst going through them, she quickly realized that mindlessly going through her notes just wasn't cutting it. So instead, she focused on understanding the key details during meeting. By doing so, she signaled to her subconscious that this wasn't just information. It was crucial data that needed to be stored for quick and easy retrieval. Number four, utilize mnemonics. Mnemonics are like little memory shortcuts that makes the brain's job way easier. Instead of grappling with a string of random info, you create associations or codes that your brain can easily decode. So picture this, you're trying to remember a list and instead of struggling, you turn it into a catchy rhyme or acronym. It's like turning a shopping list into a cool rap. Now suddenly it's memorable. That's the magic of mnemonics. Now, why go through this creative process? Because your brain loves patterns and associations. It's like telling your brain, hey, this information is part of a fun club, so let's remember it. It could be turning numbers into words, creating a funny story, or using the first letter of a sequence. Just get creative. So let's say you meet someone at a party and you want to remember their name, Sam. Now turn this into mnemonics, super awesome memory. Next time you see Sam, you'll be like, hey, it's super awesome memory. See what I did there? Mnemonics help make information stick. It's not about boring memorization. It's about turning it into a mental adventure. So the next time you're faced with a forgettable list or a tricky name, let mnemonics be your memory superhero. Get creative, make it fun, and watch how it transforms how you remember things. Facing the challenge of remembering clients' names and preferences, Emma turned to mnemonics. She associated each client with a distinctive feature or a memorable trait. Mr. Johnson, the tech guru, became Johnson with the funky glasses. These imaginative memory cues act as the master key, effortlessly unlocking her mental contacts whenever she needed them. Number five, harness the power of sleep. Ever feel like your brain's on a low power mode and remembering stuff is as tricky as catching a shooting star? Well, it might be time to tap into the superpower of sleep. And trust me, it's a game changer. When you sleep, your brain doesn't clock out. It's gearing up for a memory makeover. During those nighttime hours, your subconscious goes into overdrive, organizing and filing away the day's adventures. Think of it as a night shift for your brain. It's not just resting. It's working behind the scenes to make your memory stick. Ever noticed how things seem clearer after a good night's sleep? 
That's your brain flexing its memory muscles. When you don't get enough quality sleep, it's like asking your brain to function with one hand tied behind its back. Your memory takes a hit and suddenly that important detail or new skill that you're trying to learn, it becomes a bit fuzzy. So prioritize your sleep. Create a cozy sleep haven. Ditch the night, late night strolling and let your brain do its memory magic. It's not just about quantity. It's about quality sleep. Ever notice how we often say, let me sleep on it when faced with a decision or a problem? There's wisdom in that. Your brain, given the chance to process overnight, often provides a fresh perspective by morning. Sleep isn't just a luxury. It's a memory superhero. So the next time you're tempted to sacrifice sleep for, for that Netflix marathon, remember, it's not just catching some sleep. You're letting your brain optimize its memory gain. So for one last time, let's go back to our friend Emma. Now, Emma understood that burning the midnight oil wasn't doing her memory any favors. Instead, a good night's sleep became her secret weapon. During those precious hours, her subconscious mind meticulously organized and filed away the day's business intricacies. As Emma embraced these memory-enhancing techniques, her confidence in high-stake meetings soared. The once overwhelming sea of details became manageable thanks to her trusty subconscious sidekick. Embrace these memory enhancing techniques, boost your confidence and let your trusty subconscious guide you through the challenges. By consistently practicing these methods, you'll not only enhance your recall ability, but also witness a significant improvement in your overall memory. So if you found these techniques helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe for more mind boosting content. Until next time, take care.